and welcome to this episode of the My Rep Chat Minute. Today we're going to answer the question, how do I make an outbound phone call or what outbound phone call options do I have when I'm using hosted SMS? Now we have other videos and, and tutorials that explain what hosted SMS is, but I'm going to give you a brief overview real quick just before we get started. Hosted SMS is when the calling features tied to a number essentially live somewhere else. So landlines and voice over IPs, what we have the option to do is take the texting feature tied to that number and bring it to us, but all the calling features stay exactly where they are, which is why it's called hosting, because we don't actually own the number or we don't own any part of the number. We're essentially hosting or borrowing the SMS portion of it. But again, all the calling features live somewhere else. Now, when you do this and you have your MyRepChat account open, you do have some options to how your outbound phone calls look when you have hosted SMS. So let's talk about that just briefly. By default, there's a voice add-on within my rep chat, and for most users, that, that add-on is turned off. If the voice add-on is turned off and you go to make an outbound phone call from my rep chat, the mobile application, you can do that. What will happen is it will simply open up your native calling application. So if I'm in the mobile app and I want to make a phone call to somebody, so if I'm, if I'm in my messages tab and I want to make a phone call to somebody, and I hit the calling button on the mobile app in the top right hand corner, it's going to open up in my native calling application. It's going to call the client and the client's going to see my cell phone number because that's the only number I have on my phone to make a phone call from. Now, the other option is I turn the voice feature on. And if I turn the voice add on on, then it'll work a little bit different. So in this account, I have the voice add on turned on. And so if I make the phone call to this person, I hit the call button in the top right corner. You'll see it's giving me the option here. So it didn't immediately kick me over to my native application. It's asking me which number I want to call for the client. I select the client's mobile number and then it calls the client and it operates just like our normal feature will, where it's going to call this phone first. And then once it calls this phone, it's going to call the client. Okay. Which is exactly what I want it to do. Now, the benefit of that is that the client is going to get the phone call on their phone. It's going to show your landline number. So it's actually going to show up like you're calling from your office again, which might be exactly what you want. You want to separate business and personal and stop having your personal cell phone numbers show up. This is a great way to do that. Toggle that voice add on on, even if you have hosted SMS and it will show the office number uh, or the landline number, or the voice over IP number on an outbound phone call. Now, the only thing to keep in mind is that, of course, if that person calls that number back is it's going to go to where the call uh, the calling features live and that's at the current provider and so it's probably going to route to your office or wherever it goes now for some of you it might still end up at your cell phone depending on your configuration but just understand on the outbound side we can make it look like you're calling from your office number but if they call your office number it's still going to go to your office so those are the options you have when it comes to the voice features and calling outbound calling when it comes uh, to how that might work within the my rep chat application when you have hosted sms so i hope this answers the question Thanks so much for watching this episode of the My Rep Chat Minute.